Hey, this is S. Hello. Hi, Sal. What can I get you? Those black and white cookies. Yeah. Do you think they're supposed to go horizontal, vertical, or diagonal? I never really thought about that before. You okay, Mrs. S? Huh? Oh. Yeah, I, uh, I just got a touch of something. Let me talk. Ma, Randy invited me over for a sleepover on Saturday, and I need $5 for the school trip to the United Nations. Uh huh. It's nice. So, I'm the only one who's doing a science fair project on phototropism. Oh, wow, that's great, Henry. Yeah. Well, I got, I got all that wood cut up so we can slap together that box this weekend, all right? Daddy, can I help? Oh, sure, sweetie. Absolutely. Okay. Sure, you can't remember anything. They must have come out and passed out. Thank God it wasn't winning. You could have froze to death. I wasn't passed out. I was just asleep. I guess I was just more tired than I realized. There may be something medically wrong, or neurologically and whatnot. I think you want to go see a doctor. Test results tomorrow. 
and then we can think about an MRI. What about this mark on my side? Looks like a bruise from the bathtub faucet. I noticed it before I took a bath. That's the way you remember it. Yes, my memory is fine. I just don't remember going out on the deck and falling asleep. Joanne, have you been under any unusual stress or strain lately? Nothing unusual. Because sometimes when something's bothering us deep down, we can do peculiar things. What do you mean? I think it'd be a good idea if you uh, saw my colleague, Dr. Moss. She's a psychiatrist. Uh-huh. You think I need a psychiatrist? Couldn't hurt. I'll think about it. Please, do. I had to go with the doctors. He said if I wanted, I could go see a psychiatrist. <clears throat> well, what do you think? I don't think I need it. Do you? I don't know. I don't know. You seem kind of different, you know? I don't know. Uh, kind of sad even before this happened. You know, I've been a little blue lately, but I don't think I need to see the shrink. Well, suit yourself. Suit yourself. put out breakfast. Yeah, sh what's going on? Nothing. I just, uh, I want to go to jump on some errands. See you later. Bye. Mrs. Schwartz, Mom. Mrs. Kim, do you mind if I just hang out and look around? Oh, of course not. Look as long as you like. Thank you. Swordfish on the house. You can take them home right now. That's so sweet, Mrs. Kim. But I'm just going to defrost some chicken breast for dinner tonight. Yes, please. Is this Mr. Schwartzbaum? you've been so unhappy about? There's, there's something missing, like, uh, there's no purpose to anything, like, I'm mm -hmm. just going through the motions. Mm. How's your sex life? It's a personal question. Well, this is my job to ask personal questions. I know it's hard. You and Dub, you and Brian, have sex. I, 
And? Look, I don't have any right to be unhappy. Hmm. I'm a very fortunate person. Brian is, is the greatest guy in the world. Mm -hmm. He's always there for me, and he, he's really good with the kids. Mm -hmm. Lately, I just... been feeling lonely. Mm. I'm unconnected. Unconnected to Brian. Sometimes to the kids. Mm -hmm. I feel really horrible about that. Like... I don't belong there. Hmm. It's like life is just this cruel hoax. Doctor, what's wrong with me? You have MOAD. Manic obsessive anxiety disorder. And I'm kind of prescribed something. Should make you feel a little better. And I think we should see each other twice a week until we can root out the cause, which I'm confident we can do. Okay. Don't worry. Soon you'll be happy, or at least minimally functional. You need to put some more glue on that piece over there, please. Okay, ready? Linda, can you hold this, please, sweetheart? Okay, Daddy. Yes. Channel, please. The testimony of these alleged contactees, abductees, and crackpot close encounterers has never withstood the test of scientific scrutiny. I was driving home one night on a deserted road, and suddenly there were these colored lights. My car stopped, and I was transported up into this strange spacecraft where alien creatures decided to explore in great detail every one of my six orifices. Colored lights, strange spacecraft, alien creatures. UFO guy? He's a, he's a fruitcake. Oh, he seems so sincere. Sweetheart, you've been spending too much time reading those supermarket tabloids in the checkout line. These people, they're either phonies or they're, they're, they're mentally sick. Who, Daddy? Nobody, nobody, nobody. Shh, shh. The, the man on TV said he met aliens. Mommy, do you believe in aliens? There are probably other life forms in the universe. I'm scared. Oh, sweetheart, why do you have to upset them? Okay, they're never going to get to sleep. There's no such thing as aliens, Linda. But isn't Superman an alien? Yes, he is. Superman is not an alien. He's an American. He is from the planet Krypton. Why don't you shut up? <sighs> I'm going to bed. Good idea. Here, hold on to this. Come here. Come here. No aliens. <laughs> Unbelievable.
didn't feel like myself anymore. The flashing colors, the, the spinning wheel, I, I felt mesmerized. I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat. I ended up losing my job, my family, everything. I lost it all to the roulette wheel. Excuse me, is this room 112? No, this is room 125, Gamblers Anonymous. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Hmm. What the hell's here? All right, humans, okay. I'd like to call this meeting to order, please. We're running late. Well, 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 wonderful to see you all. All right. Would anyone care to make a sighting report? No sightings? Huh. Well, I think I had one over on Coney Island Avenue. Oh, Jerry, please share. I made my sighting last Tuesday night at 4 a.m. 4 a.m., huh? Very interesting that that precisely coincides with the exact time that all the bars close. <laughs> Shut the hell up, Rosselli. I was driving home and I saw a round red light hovering over the street. Yeah, it's called a stoplight. <laughs> Come on, Larry, do something. All right. Would you please stop fooling around? You know what? You're so full of shit, Jerry. You didn't see a thing. He's just trying to break the sightings record. Hey, screw you, Rosselli. I'm in regular contact, you dumb dentist. I happen to be an orthodontist. And for your information, Mr. Expert, the aliens have designated me a level eight ambassador for this entire galaxy quadrant. <laughs> in your dreams. Everybody, relax, okay? Please, try and show some compassion. I mean, contact can be a traumatic experience. Now, I'm sure that we'll all agree that over the last few weeks, there has been a marked increase in the frequency of sightings. I mean, there could be some sort of cosmic event shaping up. So, Earthlings, please stay focused. Jerry, I want you to make a written report. Excuse me, um, did you get a flyer for our, uh, our barbecue? Thank you. Sure, sure. It's funny, you know, people are always like asking me, you know, why are UFOs attracted to the greater metropolitan area when it's really quite simple? You know, I mean, there's three reasons. Large population center, several major airports, coastal location. Forget Roswell, New Mexico. Why the hell would any self-respecting alien go all the way out there to study tumbleweeds? No. They like the big apple. Yeah. Right. Listen, uh, Come back any time. Thanks. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. Hi. Hello. Was that your first time? Yes. You? Yes. Did you think it was kind of weird? Those people were crazy. <laughs> yeah. Why did you go? I don't know. I was looking for some answers, or at least the right questions. Listen, uh, would you like to grab a quick cup of coffee? Sure. I actually saw myself float across the living room through the drapery. I don't know what happened to me that night, but I have felt different ever since. I know exactly what you mean. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to you? It was late at night. And I was trying to call overseas, but couldn't get through. And I went 
went up on the roof of my building to have a cigar. My roommate don't like the smoke. I'm up there in a few seconds when all of a sudden you had a chance on me. The next thing I know, I wake up it's morning and I'm late for work. I don't know what happened in those hours I lost. I don't know if he was a UFO or the aliens, but it's driving me crazy. <sighs> Complete mofo. Wow. I thought it was just me. You're not originally from Brooklyn, are you? No. Well, you speak English very well. Thank you. The stuff's coming up. Probably all in our imagination. Just a bad dream. I hope so. By the way, I forgot to mention one detail. What's that? That morning, after my experience, I found this. Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. Lord The last of the wonders was the Pharaoh's lighthouse in the greatest city of the ancient world, Alexandria, Egypt. Okay, listen up. Today we got Swatch, Seiko, and my personal favorite, Omega. So I expect some nice sales today, all right? Hey, Sam, what kind of are you giving me? These two are broken. Sometimes the merchandise sellers and shit. You know, you've been tripping out lately, man. Why are you so pissed off? This funny stuff is hard enough to sell. So I guess you got a better product line to push? I mean, if you do, A.B., baby, I suggest you take it. Okay, gents, look here. Let's keep our wits about us today. The man is out in force, all right? Let's make that money, baby! Gucci Seiko! Gucci Seiko! The best watches for the best prices! Special to me! Hey, you have good taste, my friend. That's the finest stamp piece I sell. Only $50, but for you, $45. Are you so searching? Hey, I cut out the middle, man. Is it waterproof? Sure. Waterproof, up to 50 meters. All he has to know to wear them. Nice or not? You want it? I don't know. $40. Take it or leave it. Deal. Uh, you take travel checks? Sorry, my friend. Cash on it. I don't have the cash on me. You still be here later. Hey! Where, where are you going? What? Well, what? Damn, what did I walk? Thank <laughs> you. 
Listen, Joanna, I need to talk to you. Something weird happened. Here, look at this. It's a children's book. This is a picture of the last built wonder of the world, the Pharaoh's lighthouse. So what does this mean? Well, I think it may be why I was drawn to the fish store. The fish store? Remember, I told you about the fish store. I spent hours there. But it wasn't about the fish. The name of the shop is Lighthouse Fish Store. I think I was attracted to it because Lighthouse is some kind of clue. So what do we do with this one? I... We should do some research on this Pharaoh's Lighthouse. At the library. Library? What library? I don't know. There's a big one over on 42nd Street. Why, that's one? Well, you know, it's the main branch. I was there today. I think I was led there. By who? By this crazy homeless guy. He gave me the finger and he made me chase him down to the library. And what happened? He went down these subway stairs and sort of vanished into thin hair. Oh, my God. This creeps me out. I got the goosebumps. Why didn't you tell me this before? I'm telling you. That's why I called. But you started telling me about your loud house. You should have interrupted me. Where I come from, women are not allowed to speak. But when they do, men have to listen very carefully, because the truth they come out of their mouths. So, what do we do now? I thought you wanted to go to the library. You're a cab driver? I do a lot of things. Name and address. You may have a seat in chairs three and four, and I'll bring over the books you've requested. Thank you. Thanks. You can start with these. I'll bring the rest later. And remember, pencils only for note-taking. The Lighthouse of Alexandria on the island of Pharos was built in 200 BC, the only one of the seven wonders with a practical purpose. It was a beacon to the legendary city of Alexandria, the greatest city of the ancient world, crossroads of the globe. Its magnificent seaport was the hub through which the east and the west traded. It was a free city, open to all manner of men and ideas. Its crown jewel was the great library of Alexandria, created to collect and preserve every existing book in the world. It housed all the great texts of science and literature. It was staffed by the most learned writers, scientists, and scholars, and generously funded by the kings of Egypt. 
The library endured almost 10 centuries until a fire in the year 640 AD destroyed every scroll within. Scholars have long lamented the devastating loss of knowledge gone up in flames when the great library burned to the ground. This is all very educational, but what the hell does this ancient Egyptian crap have to do with UFOs over Brooklyn? How should I know? You wanted to come here. Don't blame me. You're the one who had a mystical experience in a fish store. You're the one who claims to see a man disappear on 42nd Street. I never said I actually saw him disappear. Whatever. I don't even know anything about you. Where are you from, anyway? Ivory Coast. Excuse me, but is that a country? <laughs> yes. In West Africa. Oh, Africa. No one here knows anything about Africa. Oh, shit. I gotta get home. I have to return to Tati. Mon Dieu! What? Look! Oh, my God. I don't think we should tell anybody about this. They might think we're who? Who would I tell? Well, I'm not going to tell my husband. Call me if you find anything. You too. Hey, kids, hurry up. Breakfast is ready. Relax. Yeah, relax. Don't bust my balls. OK. So uh, yeah, when are they pouring the concrete? OK. Well, I'll be there after I finish my coffee. Yeah. OK, hang on. Well, uh, Alaska, um, Joey said he came by yesterday to deliver that uh, cabinet you ordered. Nobody was around. Oh, I, I got stuck in the city. All right, well, you're going to be around today? Can you drop it by? Okay. Sure, I'll be here. Yeah, she'll be here. Yeah, OK. A scroll was found said, inside a sealed urn from ancient Egypt that was recently bequeathed to the museum. Experts have determined that the papyrus document is 22 centuries old. The scroll will soon be unrolled and its unknown contents revealed. From the Brooklyn Museum, Perry Smilo, New York One. Bye, love you too. Uh, hello, uh, can I speak with Abraham, please? He's not here, he's working at the market today. What market? I need to talk to you. Sure. Let me just drop this off. Frank, these are all the wall hangings. Would you mind, please? I need to talk to my friend for a minute. In private. Oh, oh, oh no problem, Abraham. I saw on the news this morning that they just discovered a mysterious ancient scroll that the Brooklyn Museum is going to open up and study. It's from Egypt. They say it's 2,200 years old. Wow. Read this. The Great Library was founded in 330 BC. So it could be from the Alexandria Library. But all the schools were destroyed. All I know is that there's some freaky coincidences going on here, and I got a queasy feeling in the pit of my stomach. Another hunch. <laughs> so what do we do now? Hi. How you doing today? Fine. Can I help you? Well, I hope so. I'm, I'm taking a course at NYU continuing education program. I have to do a term paper on ancient Egypt. Well, you've come to the right place. What are you looking for? I'm hoping to find out information about this newly found scroll at the Brooklyn Museum, uh, particularly the names of the people that are working on it. Well, I keep that information in my current clippings file. Love to see your clippings. <laughs> if you don't mind signing in. Oh, no, not at all. Why don't you have a 
seated chair two, and I'll be back in a jiffy. Fantastic. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I hope you found what you're looking for. I might need to come back. Anytime. It's a pleasure to deal with a nice, normal, courteous person. You don't know how many geeky Egyptologists and oddballs I have to endure. Oddballs? Just yesterday, there was a couple. <laughs> very strange. How so? He was African, and she was a dumb Brooklyn girl. Something weird about them. They cleaned out every circulating book I had on the Alexandria Library. Hmm. I think it's very admirable that you're taking continuing education courses. Well, I believe the human mind is like a muscle. Hmm. Requires constant stimulation. Hmm. You don't use it, you lose it. Oh, very true. I think the classroom is a, it's a great environment for healthy social interaction. Really? Oh, yeah. It's a great place to meet. Interesting, intelligent people. See, I'm single. <laughs> Me too. Really? Small world. I'm, I'm Steve Sanders. Miriam Douglas, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, how many tickets, please? Oh, um, we need to see the person in charge of the old scrolls. The old scrolls? From ancient Egypt. You mean the curator of the Egyptian classical art department? Yes, we need to see the curator. OK, is he expecting you? Not really. Sorry, the curator's office doesn't handle walk-ons. All his business is strictly by appointment only. Um, well, will you at least relay a message to him? Sure. Well, you just tell him that I got the results of the paternity test. And the sonogram. Sonogram? I am our OBGYN. <laughs> you sure you talking about our curator? Look, you tell that selfish bastard, since he won't see me, I'm going straight to my lawyers. Come on, doctor, let's go. Uh, just a moment. My assistant said something about a private personal matter. What the heck is this about? No, I am very busy today. We need to talk to you about the ancient scroll. The scroll? The one you just discovered. We think we know something about it. Well, nobody knows anything about it. It hasn't been open for 2,000 years. That's why we're studying it. Uh, who are you, anyway? Are you Egyptologists? Not professionally. Collectors? No, but uh, we know about it. Oh, well, I'm all ears. You at all familiar with the Library of Alexandria? Very. I wrote my dissertation on it. What if we told you that the scroll is from the Great Library? I'd have to tell you you don't know what you're talking about. It's a common fact that not one written document survived the burning of the library. But what if it was true and one scroll still exists? It would be an unprecedented historical event. We believe there is a connection between the scroll and the library. And this is based on... <sighs> All right. Abraham and I have both recently had contact with what we believe to be alien spacecraft, and we've been given clues. And uh, we've put together a connection between the Library of Alexandria and your scroll. We don't know what it is all about, but we believe... We believe we've been sent on a very important mission that we don't really understand. Do you say alien spacecraft? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's showing our bruises. Bruises? <laughs> look familiar? Ah, uh, ah, uh, no. Look closer. Does this look like anything you've ever seen before? Well, I suppose it looks a little like a papyrus leaf. That was the symbol of the Great Library. I never heard of a symbol for the library. Besides, the papyrus leaf was a common design motif in ancient Egypt. What does it prove? The aliens made this mark on us. You really think that to be crazy, Joa? 
No, I would never say that. Smith and Satlow, please. I'd never call you crazy. The term I would use is delusional. I swear, if I find either of you on museum property again, I will personally see to it that you are arrested and institutionalized to the fullest extent of the law. Whatever it is we were trying to do, we blew it. We've done everything we can do based on the information we have. I just feel like we screwed up, but something important depends on us. <laughs> Listen to me. Something important. You know what, Abraham? I must be crazy. I mean, I'm just some dumb, depressed housewife from Brooklyn. Hey, you're not dumb. From what I can see, you put your smile. What did you do in the Ivory Coast? I was a civil engineer. Really? Why did you become an engineer? <laughs> I always liked building things. Science. It's funny. It's UFO stuff. Because when I was a kid, I loved to look at the stars in the sky, imagining I was an astronaut. <laughs> Back home, you can see all the stars. Would you relax? We're about to humidify it. What are those ground markings on the edge? Looks like singe marks. I would guess that this girl survived a fire. Fire? Oh, please proceed. Beat me the second it's ready to be opened, because if this turns out to be what I think it might be, this museum will make history. No, a t-shirt sales alone. construction business, Brian. That's okay. Yeah, of course. What do you think, I'd marry a jerk? I'm just asking. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I gotta get my kids. I gotta run. You're a very nice man, Abraham. I wish you the best of luck. So do you. I hope you find a happiness. Thanks. Thank God you got him. Hi, kids. Hi, Mom. Hi. Yeah, when you didn't show up for after school, they, they called me at work. What happened to you? I'm so sorry. I, I had to run into the city. I had to go to the Brooklyn Museum. I lost all track of time. Museum? Ma, I got soccer in the morning. I can't be late. It's picture day. Okay, sweetheart. I promise I will get you there on time. Joanne, can I show you something over here? What's going on? What do you mean? You told me you were going to be around today, remember? So I rescheduled the cabinet delivery. The guy came around again, and you weren't here again. Oh, I, I forgot. Joanne, you've been acting really spaced out lately. OK, so I've been a little spaced out. I checked. Joanne, you're not taking your pills. There is nothing wrong with me. Joanne, what's the problem? Don't you have a good life here? Maybe I was just trying to do something important, to help people. Maybe I felt like I had an unusual opportunity, like I had a purpose to my life. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Doesn't matter now. It didn't work out anyway. It's all over. <sighs> Give me the pills.
be frank, I, I, I get steamed when I think about what you librarians have to put up with. But like yesterday, that, that, that weird couple that you had to deal with. Oh, something was definitely up with them. I wonder what they were looking for. They didn't even know themselves. The Pharaoh's Lighthouse, Ancient Alexandria. Then they wanted to borrow every book they could on the Great Library. I wonder what they were after. Who knows? They could be nuts or cult members, maybe even book thieves. I've seen them all. <laughs> Never realize how on the front lines you librarians are. <sighs> you deserve combat pay. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. I left my notebook back at the library. I just got a bunch of really important phone numbers that I kind of need to call tonight. Damn. Well, the library doesn't open again till 9 a.m. You're a lifesaver. I want to treat you to cab ride home. Oh, that won't be necessary. It'd be my pleasure, Miriam. My pleasure. Steve. Miriam, you have the most beautiful mouth. Do me a favor. Say the words Dewey Decimal System. Remember where I was sitting? Chair number two. Would you mind looking over there and I'll, I'll look over here? Could be anywhere. Lifesaver. <laughs> who's the girl who called you? Her name is Joanne. Is she the married white woman who is with you up at the market? How did you hear about that? How do you think? Boom, 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 boom. The drums. More like Frank. He likes to gossip. Is she pretty? She's just a friend. Oh, you slap dog. How did you meet her? At a meeting. A meeting? What kind of meeting? <laughs> what was the matter? Nothing. You go ahead. I have something to do. Are you sure? I'll catch you later. Go! No, yet. These books in a cabinet over there. All I've ever seen you read is that Us Weekly and People magazine and whatnot. Now all of a sudden you're interested in the libraries of ancient Egypt. Joe, what the hell is going on around here? I'm trying to educate myself. Well, since when are you interested in the in the in these classical antiquities? Classical antiquity. I I saw a show on cable. What, I, I can't grow and expand my horizons? Are you having an affair? <laughs> no, of course not. Are you crazy? Hello. May I please speak to Joanne? Just a second, Joe. For you. Hello? Oh, hi, Abraham. No, it's fine. What? Where? He's sleeping outside the church on 5th and 53rd. Don't do anything till I get there. I'm leaving now. I gotta go. You gotta take the kids to soccer. No, wait. Joe, I need, I need some kind of explanation here. 
Brian, I wish I could tell you the truth, but you wouldn't believe me. What, you don't trust me anymore? It has nothing to do with trusting you. I'm sorry, I just don't have the time right now. Well, who is that on a phone? Uh, a friend. Just a friend. Well, where's he from? What's that accent? Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast? That's the name of a soap. It's a country in West Africa. Africa. What the hell is he doing? He's obviously a schizophrenic. Hey, this is what happened last time. Come on. No homeless guy. I am a visible manifestation of a life form native to a distant part of this galaxy. You're an alien. From an extremely advanced civilization. Then what's uh, the story with that suit? It was observed in a tra 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 transmission of an obscure 1950s low budget science fiction movie entitled The Thing from Planet It. We felt the uniform would make my appearance more impressive. Why did you choose to become uh, an Asian? There are 3.7 billion Asian bodies on the planet. It's the most popular model. Is this about the scroll? As the library was still aflame, one special scroll was rescued and hidden from harm in an urn by a heroic librarian. What's on it? It contains an equation that unlocks the mystery of nature, transforming our species onto a new evolutionary plane. But the museum is already planning to open the scrolls, so what's your plan? There is a sort of translation problem. The equation is written will cause chaos and destruction. What do you mean by chaos and destruction? When a great library was destroyed, humanity entered into the so-called dark ages. This will make those times look like Disney World. The whole damn Milky Way will be in the crapper. That's not good. No. That is why we have made a duplicate scroll with a corrected formula. So, what does all this have to do with us? There are rules. There are regulations in this universe that are too complex to explain. Suffice it to say, it must be accomplished by human hands. Okay, so you guys screwed up, so we have to risk our necks and possibly face jail time to save your ass? And I'm assuming we don't get paid. Yeah, why the hell should we do it? Your motivation is in saving your fellow beings. Or I could threaten to vaporize you. Hey, of course we'll help our planet. No problem. Good. Here is a replacement scroll. Now bring me back the original. There is little time. Hey, one more question. Why us? We made contact with many Homo sapiens in the tri-state area. But you were the only two who joined together, pieced together the puzzle, recognized the sign. You possess unique skills that complement each other. Now hurry. The fate of our world is in your hands. Shit! Abraham Kangahom? He's out. Can I help you? What's your connection to him? I'm one of his roommates. What, what, what do you want? I need to look around. Excuse me, who are you? I'm calling the police. Hey, go ahead. Can't help you. Who are you? FBI, CIA, AAA. Take your pick. 
You a citizen? No. I assume your papers are in order. You guys should check them. Is that necessary? Not if you cooperate. Where's the stuff? You know, I didn't know the watches were counterfeit. Oh. What watches? Never mind. See Abraham's relationship with Joanne Schwartzbaum. I never heard of her. I just know he's friends with some white woman. Friends, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. Don't let the lady bring touch the meat. Here, you do it yourself. When I was abducted, they didn't lay a paw on me. You're lucky. They probed me up the wazoo without lubrication. Ouch. Uh-huh. Quick, look east. No, it's a plane out of JFK. I could have sworn it pulled a Mach 5 maneuver. You know, Jerry, you should really lay off the last cerveza. Shut up, Rosselli, you loudmouth tooth jockey. Guys, please, don't start, OK? We're trying to just have a nice, peaceful barbecue. Hi. Hey, I'm so glad you guys made it. Burgers or uh, no, thanks. drinks? No, thank you. We didn't come for the barbecue. We need help. What kind of help? It's a crisis situation. Can I make an announcement? Sure. Yeah, everyone, I want your attention, please. We have uh, an announcement. Thanks. Sorry to interrupt the barbecue, but this is very urgent. This may seem a little crazy, even to all of you. Abraham and I have had contact with an alien life form, and we've been given a very momentous mission that will affect the whole world. The thing is, we can't do it alone. We need your help. If, uh, if it's so important, how come the aliens didn't notify me personally? You're being notified right now. We've all been chosen to be part of it. The entire planet depends on us. And for some reason, I don't quite understand. The destiny of mankind will be decided tonight, here, in Brooklyn. And it's up to all of us whether that fate is good or bad. So what do you say? You are asking us to take a big, big leap of faith. I mean, you're saying our future depends on it, and we don't know if you're telling the truth or you're full of it. But if you are right, and the fate of the whole damn planet is going to be decided right here on our home turf, who better to handle the job? We may not have much of a civilization, but it is the only one we've got. Count me in. Oh. Me too. Me too! Me too! Me too. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for Prada, douse the barbecue. Abraham, Joanne, what's the plan? Wait a minute, ma'am. She's been gone all day? Well, yeah, she left this morning. She wouldn't tell me where she was going. Is it her medication? Well, no, she's not taking the pills, but I, I don't think that's the whole problem, Mom. What do you mean? Well, I think, I think, Mom, oh, God. I think, she, I think she's having an affair. What? Oh, God. Maybe that's her. She's got the keys. Oh. I don't believe it. Take it easy. Schwartz bomb? Yeah. With a government agency. I prefer not to identify at this time. I'm sure you can understand. Well, what can I do for you? This matter involves your wife. Joanne. You know where she is? I don't know where. And I believe I know with whom. May I come in? Please. It's about Joe. This gentleman's a government agent. These are my parents. Sorry to bother you folks this evening. Mo Schwartzbaum. Steve Sanders. That's just my deep cover name. Oh. Is Joanne in trouble? Big trouble. We believe she's mixed up with an international criminal. Foreign national, Abraham Conga of the Ivory Coast. Oh, dear God. He wasn't a counterfeit watch racket. Now he's into something really big. What? He's suspected of working for an unknown hostile power, involved in the illegal smuggling of a rare document. That's serious stuff. May not be too late. I might be able to intercept your wife before she commits a felony. 
but I'll need your help. Anything, what? I'd like to inspect her personal belongings. Might give us a clue as to her whereabouts. Right, follow me. You know, uh, I prefer to look around alone. A cup of coffee would be nice. Come right up. Let you know as soon as I hear anything. I'd appreciate that. I really would. Uh, oh, I should give you my number. That won't be necessary. I have all your numbers. Oh. Oh, right. Right. Of course. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Schwartzberg. Thank you. How could I be so blind? Where the hell is the Ivory Coast? West Africa. He's not even African American. He's African African. <laughs> Jesus, that was a bad one. Are you okay? Yeah, but I have to go home and take my medication. I told you. He always forgets his pills. I don't always forget. Oh. Thank you very much. No problem. Uh, excuse me? Um, did, you, did you drop these keys? Oh, shit, thanks. Yeah. Show's over, folks. Museum's closing. Are you all right? Yeah.
toppings, ma'am? Like what? Sausage and mushrooms. Mixed together? Or half and half. Half sausage and half mushrooms. Or spinach. Well, which one? Chicken, pork, ice cream on the top. You don't know what the hell you're talking about half the time. You know that, Ivan? Just pick one so I can call and order it. Surprise me. All right. I don't want to hear any shit if you don't like what I pick. Talk. So what? He fainted and he hallucinated the whole thing. Now we return the scroll to the... To the alien? Yeah. Can I come? Oh, uh, that's not such a great idea. I don't think we're supposed to bring anybody back with us. Yeah, okay. Now, I know I don't need to tell you this, but we gotta keep this all a secret. What secret? Nothing ever happened. Besides, uh, nobody believed us anyway. Larry! Let's go! I got a 7 a.m. key off. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, how sweet. How sweet. Honey, I think your husband's waiting for you to phone home. And you, my African friend, should have stuck to hawking fake Timexes in the jungle. What do you want? <sighs> Scroll. Hey! Oh. Man, fantastic. You two stole this from a fine cultural institution. Now I'm stealing it from you. I can't tell you easy made this for me. Who are you? It's on a need-to-know basis. And you won't be needed to know. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. We're going to take a stroll in the park. Let's go. Why are you doing this? There's a whereabouts of the scroll after I made a secret. You 
two pathetic fools know way too much. Even though you have no idea what the hell this thing is. Sure we do. It's the last existing text from the Alexandria Library. Come on, keep quiet. It doesn't matter now. It contains a formula that could change the whole planet. Where'd you hear that? Who told you that? We were told by an alien. What are you doing? Abraham, the truth is our only hope. We are on a mission for the aliens. We removed that scroll, which will cause darkness and suffering, and replaced it with one that will transform the entire human race to the next evolutionary level. <laughs> Who do you think you're bullshitting? Just a very old piece of paper. Should fetch a pretty penny in the black market. <laughs> Lord! Lord! I saw, saw a huge lighthouse. I was there. Who are you? I'm a professional art thief and grave robber. What should we do with him? Look, I don't know what that scroll is or where it came from, but just keep away from me. I'll, I'll do anything you want. Just keep away from me. Sorry about this. Oh. <laughs> Heroically, you have corrected our great error, or as Joanne would say, our, our screw, screw up. We are indebted to you. Probably. Forget about it. In appreciation of your great deed. I've been authorized to offer you an all-expense-paid voyage to my neck of the galaxy. You will witness splendors unconveyable by mere words. Wow. That sounds so great. Yeah. You will be the first of your kind to go beyond this reality. It's a historic, momentous honor. Are you ready? You mean right now? Yes. The calculations have been made. When do we return? You may not want to return. We have a moment. Oh. Abraham, you have to go. You must go. And I really, really, really wish I could go with you, but I can't. It wasn't for you. We're both lucky. All the astronauts were there. Well, promise me you'll at least send me a postcard.
Some sort of ancient Greek text. Well, what does it say? Some mumbo jumbo about time and space. I can't make heads or tails out of it. Well, maybe we'd better call Columbia and get Professor Luton to come take a look at it. That's a good idea. That's serious. On a Canis Major, the dog. Mom, have you learned all the constellations? It's constellations. Well, I would like to learn as many stars as I can. Me too. All right, guys. Sorry to be the bearer of bad tidings, but it's it's time for bed. It's way past your bedtime. Yeah. We have to. I'm afraid so. To. Yes, you do. School. Uh... Come on. Put on your PJs and brush your teeth. Good night. <laughs> So, so how you doing? I'm okay. Yeah, you seem... You seem happier. I am. You ever gonna tell me what happened? I mean, I know, I know you don't think I believe... believe you, but I will. Yeah, I'll tell you. Someday. You're a wise guy. <laughs> you gonna come up? Uh, yeah, in a in a minute.